I grew up moving all around. I was actually born in St. Louis, but I lived in, gosh, four or five states. I finally ended up going to high school outside of Atlanta, Georgia. So when people ask where I'm from, I say Atlanta, but really, I mean, I was living all over the United States before then. I always remember being a sports fan. My dad was a huge sports fan, and he took me to baseball games and basketball games from the time when I was little. I actually started out thinking that I wanted to go to film school. And I remember clearly freshman year, I took a film class and I hated it. <laughs> so immediately I knew that that's not what I wanted to do. And finally I settled in on sports casting. And the funny thing about that is looking back, I always was a broadcaster. You know, I used to do plays. I was always the kid that wanted to read the radio announcements. That is where my true like passion and talent always was, but it just took a little bit longer for me to kind of put it all together and realize, hey, you want to be a sports anchor. There were people that I looked up to like Robin Roberts and Pam Oliver that were there, but it wasn't like I turned on the TV every day and, and saw people that looked like me. So whenever I met Coach Musselman, I just remember talking to him and thinking how funny and how nice he was. I didn't think he was interested in me at all. And then at the end of the conversation, he asked me for my phone number. So I was like, oh, okay, there's something here. He started talking about marriage like six months later. It was, it was awesome. A year later, we were married. Whenever we were at the University of Nevada, we kind of knew we were not gonna leave unless it was something that really felt right. And whenever Arkansas came along, that was something that really felt right. Let's go! Let's go! Come on, let's go! Sports broadcasting was absolutely my passion. I worked so hard on it for, gosh, I don't know, 15 years. But then whenever I stepped away, I was a little scared because I didn't know what my next passion was going to be. And it definitely took time. I didn't wake up the next morning and say, you know, now I'm going to fundraise. <laughs> it took time. As we prepare to come together to raise funds for pediatric cancer research and lodging, I just want to take a minute to thank a group of people that have made this evening possible and everything that it is. So thank you so much to our Suits and Sneakers 2022 committee. So now the philanthropy is something that I'm, I'm so proud of. I've lived in, I don't even know, 13 or 14 different states. We have had so many jobs between us, and so I, I just think who I am right now is, is a busy mom and wife. And, you know, 10 years from now, it's gonna be something completely different, and, and that's okay.